Hey guys, it is Crystalline back with another video. I didn't even think I was gonna make this video today. Um, the reason I feel like I have to make this video is because the enemy has been so diligent in trying to get me to be quiet that I know I have to push past it. And so let's talk about it for a moment. So guys, today I wanna talk to you about just what I'm feeling in my heart, what I'm sensing in my spirit and if you're someone who is really in tune with the spirit, if you've been hearing from God, if you have been listening to prophetic words, you understand that God has us in a place right now where he is literally shifting us to a different place, to another space, right? First spiritually, but then this will manifest in the natural. And so I kind of want to talk about that manifestation for a moment because it's just been coming to me more and more this blog post that I wrote years ago, like I'm talking probably 10 years ago or more, I wrote a blog post, but I never published it. So I used to have a blog. That's how all of this even came about. I got to the point that I just started trying to do video form, but this has been going on for well over a decade. And I've always written um, and that's how I express myself. And so anyway, I wrote a blog post years ago and it was called The Manifestation. Now, let's be clear. Crystalline is here <laughs> talking about Father, Son, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. So when we hear people talk about manifestation and manifesting things, that has a different context depending on who you're talking to and what you're talking about. So I want to be clear in my communication today that I'm coming from a biblical standpoint and my trust and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, just so we're clear. So anyway, um, this blog post, and you know, it's funny, I guess I was too afraid to post it back then. I also felt like, uh, is this the right timing? Is this a foreshadowing? And so I've been hearing a lot from other prophetic voices and just things, and I sense inwardly as well and been hearing the Lord say, I'm about to change things, okay? Like a lot of things that you've been waiting for are actually about to come to fruition. They are about to come to the forefront. You are about to literally experience so many things that you've been waiting on. And that's beautiful, right? But we don't talk enough about what it looks like to be in that position where you're finally receiving what God has for you and how to handle it. So that was the essence of the blog. Um, I don't have notes or anything, so I'm just gonna see where this goes and where the Holy Spirit wants to lead us. But basically, the blog post was talking about knowing that the day would come where God is truly turning your situation around. He's turning your morning into day. He's turning your despair into joy. All of these things are shifting. But what do we do when that shift occurs? Many of us are shifters in our family. We are trailblazers. We are cycle breakers. We are breaking generational curses for lack of a better term right now, right? And so we're the first that God is using to do something. And if we're honest, walking into the manifestation of what he has for us can be intimidating because you kind of already know that there will be some expectations from other people. There will be expectations and maybe hands out there will be this expectation that, you know, what God has done for one, he's doing it for all. And while that may have some truth to it, because if I'm in my family line, in my family lineage, right, what God does through me, um, it's supposed to affect the family line. However, however, I have put in blood, sweat, and tears for whatever and wherever it is that God is about to take me. And God wants me to know that that comes with a level of responsibility that I can't just hand that over. Everybody cannot have access to where he's about to take me to. And that's difficult to the point that sometimes we get delayed because we aren't totally ready 
for what it is that God has for us. So I just want to speak for a moment and talk to you about what I feel the Lord is saying, right? This is not necessarily a prophetic word, just what he's put on my heart, something that I'm trying to walk in and that I want to encourage you with. God is saying every person has their own journey. Every person has their own path, right? And the path that God has you on is leading you to the manifestation that he has for you. And what that looks like for you, what that looks like for me could be two very different things, but they're exactly what we need, right? And so we would do a disservice, not only to ourselves, not only to God, but to those around us. If we don't allow them to walk out their journey, to go down their path, so that they then get the manifestation that God has for them. This does not mean that we won't reap benefits at times that come from the works of other people. I know that I'm here today because of the prayers of some of my ancestors, right? However, I had to do certain things in my walk with God. It came with a level of submission and discipline that cannot just be handed over to someone else. He wants us to grab a hold of the manifestation with this understanding that it is a responsibility that he is placing in our hands. And we can't just give that out willy nilly. There are people who will want to grab a hold of what it is that God is blessing you with, what it is that God is taking you into this new phase is going to look different. Like, let me just talk about me for a second. Okay. My life Whew. in a lot of ways has been difficult, has been a struggle. I've barely felt financially stable my entire life. I have had times where things were okay. Things were manageable. Never did I feel like I was just comfortable. Okay. Like everything has been a struggle. And some of that comes from our own decisions and choices, right? So I'm not blaming anyone right now. I'm just talking. What I'm saying is, if I'm used to being in a place of financial struggle, and again, I'm just being real and talking about myself for a moment, when God takes me out of that and then puts me into the season that I'm about to step into where that's no longer an issue, not only will that be different for me, that's going to be different for the people around me. The people around me are going to see things differently. The people around me are going to look at my circumstances in a different way. And maybe they will want access to certain things. Now, I'm telling you for real, I'm not saying this to sound nice or whatever, like Crystalline's heart is that I would just help those around me, right? And God is saying, you do what I tell you to do with what I give you. <laughs> That's what this is about. He says, you do with the manifestation what I tell you to do with it. And if I say that it's because I, I, I had you walk through this, you walked through the fire, you got refined, and that is why you were given the manifestation. That is why I blessed you with certain things. You cannot disrupt someone else's journey by trying to give shortcuts to them where they didn't sow. It is a sowing and reaping season right now. And what God is saying is, I need you to be responsible for what I gift you. Again, some of what we receive, y'all, will be things that we don't deserve, quote unquote. We, we are being graced by God to walk into a new place, a new, a new season, right? I can't even find the, the proper language right now. I see it. He's like, you're walking into this new place. And I cannot have you mess up someone else's journey to where they have to go because maybe you see they have a need. But if I'm not telling you to address that need, don't. God is saying, I have to show up for people the same way that I showed up for you. The same way that I walked you through that season when you had no one. The same way that I journeyed through you down this road. I have to do the same with them. So I know you're a little bit worried because you're like, well, what if I don't help? What does that look like? Who are you looking to? Who are you looking to? Are you looking to me or are you looking to other people? Because if you have your eyes on me, there's nothing to worry about. 
the Lord is my light and my salvation. I have that written on the board back here. I just wrote it today. It's going to be my children's scripture for the week. And it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? It is nothing but God's strength that got many of us into this season that we're about to march into. And that is the way he's telling me you are about to march into something. And it's beautiful the way that he's saying it because God knows that I love words and we are just entering into this month of March. And he's saying you are about to march into a new thing. You are about to march into a new season. And what I don't want it's for you to, to thwart those, those plans. I don't want you to mess up the manifestation. I don't want you to delay someone else's journey by trying to help them along and put them on your path when this is yours and they have their own. I hope this is making sense. The manifestation can be scary when you know that when it comes, there will be expectations from other people. And here it is. God is saying, you, there are no expectations outside of what I've told you and what I've said. That is what you have to understand. There is no expectation outside of what I am saying to you. And so if anyone has a problem with that, you send them to me. Because I am the one who gives each person according to their faith. I am the one who gets each person in line where they need to be to walk through the right door for them. This is a time you're stepping into a new level of responsibility. You're stepping into a new promise. You're stepping into a new covenant with me. Those old covenants are gone. Just like when Jesus came and the, he said the law was already fulfilled. And so now he is here. God is saying, you are stepping into a new covenant with me. And this covenant says that I will handle with care and responsibility all that you place in my hands, God. I won't give more than you tell me to. I won't give less. I won't give where you tell me not to give, God. If you don't give me the instructions, I won't do it. And if you're ready for that sort of commitment, he's like, sign it. I need your signature written down so that you can receive because it's coming. It is coming. I feel it. I feel that something is coming. That is why there's been so much torture. There's, that's why there's been so much torment. That's why there's been so much frustration because it is on the way. And the enemy is trying to do everything he can to distract you from what God is trying to push you into. And God is saying, keep marching, keep marching, keep marching, because what I have for you is coming right up ahead, right up ahead. You are about to march into what I have for you. But I cannot have you distracted and looking back thinking, well, what do I do about this? And what do I do about that? No, you keep moving forward. So guys, I'm going to just stop right here because I am really struggling to figure out if I'm getting the words across the way that I am feeling them in my spirit. But I pray that this helps someone. I pray that you understand that where God is taking you, it's not about what you deserved, but God is saying you put in the work. You put in the blood, sweat, and tears. Your discipline got you here. Your praise got you here. Other people cannot collect from where they did not sow, okay? So I want you to trust this process and allow God to show you where to sow, what to do, and where to go. Where to sow and where to go. That's it. Where to sow, where to go. God, we thank you for all that you are doing in our lives. We thank you for all that you've done. And we thank you for all that you are about to do. We praise your name. We glorify you, God. We honor you. God, you are our peace. You're our provider. You are our protection. And we thank you for everything. God, thank you for the good, the bad, and the ugly that has led us to where we are now. Help us, Lord God, to use wisdom from heaven to navigate this new season that we are marching into. Help us, Father God, to be responsible good stewards over what you what you sow into our lives what you give to us lord god and what you bless us with 
We thank you in advance for all that's happening, all that you're doing. We don't know how it's going to come, but we are expecting every single day. We are expecting, God, for what you have um, coming our way. And we just thank you in advance. We thank you in advance, God. I pray that you would allow this to rest on the hearts of your people. I pray that you would help us to really dissect this the way that you need us to so that we can break down the points that are exactly for us, Lord God. And help us to walk in that truth. Help us, Lord God, to shut down fear, to not be afraid, but to walk in your truth and in your light. You are our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? God, I thank you so much. I honor you. I bless you. And I ask you to bless your people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.